You ever feel like you look down the fretboard and you're just like, holy crap, there's so many lines. There's so many lines going this way and they're this way. And I know I can play in G here, but I have to stop and reset and then get back up here. Like, you ever feel like you can, like, cruise around in G? But you have to get on up. Like, you have to kind of, like, stop and reset. Like, it doesn't really have that, like, if you ever hear EJ kind of do the... Uh, and it all kind of connects. And it's just having, like, like, fluidity around the pentatonic thing. Like, a lot of that can get solved if you just start looking at the guitar in more of a linear fashion. I'm looking for the same thing over and over. Okay? So check this out. If we're in... Somebody give me a key. What key will we play in? A flat. A flat. Okay. <laughs> Is it, will that be uh, major or minor? A flat minor. A flat minor. Will we have a dominant seven? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Okay, hell yeah, dominant seven, A flat. Okay, what I'm doing right now is I'm giving you an insight of how I start to practice. I immediately start giving myself things that will tell me where to go, right? So the next thing is I will start by putting it into a musical context, right? Uh, four, four, six, eight, who, who, who likes it? You know, four, four, let's say four, four, right around... Uh, uh, with a major six. Right? So, okay, in that, in that noodling, what I did was I immediately started looking for the interval that I called out to you guys, right? Because like, all right, where's my six at? Because I've announced to the class that we've got that sound, right? So with that, I immediately started thinking about how I can navigate the fretboard and start seeing not only the A, the root, but minor third, five, right? 